the picture. Wisdom is plain. Oh, you see a, a young Muslim lady on the streets of Damascus who looks like Batgirl <laughs> dressed in a wild outfit that she saw on TV from America or somewhere. Where did she get the idea? All of these. The good life. You know, buy another bottle of whiskey and knock it down quick. All of these are from images of the good life that were pervaded and put into hearts by pictures, images. And so the wisdom is plain. Wisdom is plainer than plain. Why the Prophet ﷺ forbade this in so many hadiths, all of them sahih. One single sahih hadith would be enough. How with 20? And that it's an enormity. It's not just an ordinary problem in one's deen. It's an enormity. It's an outrage against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for these reasons, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want it, and does not permit it, and that it's haram, and that it's an enormity, that it's an outrage against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law. Everybody in the tariq, we say, don't use pictures. And if they're necessary, there are some necessities that sometimes make certain things possible. Imam al-Ghazali has summarized, and we mentioned them last time we were here or the time before. There are some things that make exceptions, and these are when muftis give fatwas that exceptions are permissible. Sometimes exceptions are permissible for various reasons, for religious reasons. For example, the parents are telling the young man, why don't you shave off that beard so you look like a human being? For example, you don't have to listen to them. Why? For religious reasons. Dean, you you don't have to obey your parents in that, and that which is makru, haram. Uh, such as survival. When survival, the only way, nafs, the ulama term, survival is another exception for, for reason for exceptions in fatwas. Survival, when you cannot survive except if you do this, like what? Like eating a piece of pork, even, and that's the only thing left to eat, and you'll die if you don't eat that. You, have a, you can eat as much as you need to survive. Aql, the sanity, it's the only way you can uh, survive is uh, keep your uh, your sanity is by doing something that is haram like like what like someone whose husband is crazy and she's his business all he does is harping and criticizing and nagging and, and, and beating her up and maltreating her and she can't stand it anymore she's going out of her mind she can run away if she's really going out of her mind because he's making her crazy she can just leave him this is not permissible to, for a woman to just leave Otherwise, you can't just go. There's a marriage contract there. This is it. And Nessel mentioned also the uh, having offspring. If the only doctor that can fix a woman up is a male doctor, for example, then she can't have children otherwise. And male or diminishment of losing one's, all, all one's livelihood. Like what? Like copyrights, for example. An author cannot remain in business if he doesn't have rights that protect his property from being stolen by other people. He can't continue and he can't have a living. So copyrights are an example. Otherwise they don't exist, but they do exist because of the masale. These are the basic aims of the sharia to protect these human interests. And what Ghazali mentions in his mustasfa. So with pictures, the exceptions that are permitted are when it is to pre- prevent detriment. To prevent detriment. Like what? Like when there's an earthquake and many people are left, thousands of people are left homeless. And a charity cause without any pictures is a lost cause. And so you need to dramatize the plight of the people who are homeless. Then pictures, the ruksa of the ulama, we say that photographic pictures, this is when it should be used to prevent the detriment. Those people will die if they don't get aid, if they don't get help, if they don't get clothing, if people don't volunteer to go and help them. For example, this happened here. Security. Security is a societal interest. There has to be something to identify who the criminals are. 
and who are the honest people. And so we have passports, we have identity cards, and so forth. Security is a interest. Without security, look what happens. What happens is what is happening now in, in Baghdad. You can't go out in the street without fear of being kidnapped, and your family have to pay $5,000, and you come back as a corpse anyway, because they don't care. They kill them anyway, after the family pays the ransom. Why? Because there's no security there. When security is gone, the whole country is gone. This is a reason why also, just to, to, to say it with a, very clearly, is that no matter how bad uh, rulers are in any country, their existence is still better than their non-existence. And the ruler that is in a Muslim country, even if he does some things that are against the Sharia, he has a tremendous reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for maintaining security. Because he's doing something, if his intention is for Allah in that. Because by preserving the security, the people can open their store each moment and not have it pillaged and looted. They can run their lives, they can manage their lives, and, they, and so forth. So pictures, those who need pictures and can't live without them, don't go with our way, go with some other way, go with flower power, Sufism, better for you, easier. But those who want the real Sufism, those who want to reach what our author is talking about, it entails what I, and the existence of 20 explicit sahih statements from the Prophet ﷺ is sufficient for anybody with a grain of wara in his heart to know what the score is. I don't have a picture of my own Shaykh, Shaykh Abdul Rahman. I don't have any pictures of him, nor do I need any. Anytime I want to say Shaykh Abdul Rahman, I can see him right in front of me without any pictures. I remember very well what he looks like. Allah. And so pictures, the most insidious of propaganda and of Western propaganda, the way, and the pictures murk up your mind. We talk about zuhud, we talk about the freedom of the heart from images and from pictures and from forms and external forms so it can ascend and see the one in the many. This is not possible for people who are continually stuffing the many into their head. What are you waiting for? We're talking about showbiz. Who needs it? Nobody needs it. There are books. We went to a bookstore the other day, Sidi Altif and myself, used bookstore here in the Hor. Splendid selection of books and cheaper. Every single book is a different world. People used to be literate. People used to be able to speak. If we had a thousand people like Abdul Hakim Murad in Cambridge, we wouldn't have any problems with the misunderstandings with the Muslim, between the Muslims and the Kafirs. But rather, we have the Muslims are inarticulate. They're unable to speak. They don't have any culture. Nobody reads anymore. Change it. Where? At your own house. 